And that's definitely a, uh, a great question and it's a question where you have to look at a lot of different variables. You know, the average franchisor is going to spend upwards of, you know, four, five, six thousand dollars a month on national advertising efforts easily. Uh, if you look at the annual franchise development reports, the average closing ratio for national lead generation is usually somewhere between 0.05 and 1 percent. So you're investing a lot of energy, you're investing a lot of time and money to get a very low closing ratio. And then you have to help the franchisor understand, you know, you have an in-house sales team. So you're investing some significant dollars either in salaries and, and commissions to, to fund that person to help them, you know, find candidates for you. And if you look at the, the, the franchise fee bottom lines and you look at the, the monthly investments that you're spending for national advertising efforts, compare that to what you're going to invest with the entrepreneur source. Compare it to the long-term value of that franchisee. How much money is that franchisee going to generate for you in three years, in five years, in ten years? And take a look at those calculations. What you're investing now on your own with the systems and, and things that you have in place for national lead generation. And factor in everything that you're going to have with the entrepreneur source. And typically you're going to find that your return on investment is going to be much greater with us. As well as your return on time because there's going to be a lot of value. Uh, we're about quality. We're not about quantity. We're not going to give a franchise or a uh, hundred people a month to talk to. Maybe we'll give them 10 or 15 a month to talk to. But if you look at our, our average closing ratio and you, t you talk to franchisors that work with us, maybe one out of 10 or so referrals are going to close as opposed to one out of every one or 200. And if you look at the long-term value of those franchisees and, and the franchise fee monies that they're going to collect, even if they're paying us a referral fee, the, the return on investment, both short-term and long-term, typically is going to pale in comparison to you know, what their investment is monthly or, or for a referral fee.